I'd like to call this meeting to order. <laughs> Madam Treasurer, would you please call the roll? Mr. Alec? Here. Ms. Karstarfin? Here. Mr. Bax? Here. Mr. Brubaker? Here. And Mr. Gebhardt? Here. Great. Uh, would you please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, welcome to the uh, February 20th, 2019 board meeting. I'd like to introduce our group up here. To my right is board member Kevin Brubaker. To his right is board member Jim Bax. I am Greg Ellick. To our left is board member and vice president Annie Karstafen. To her left is our board member robotic man, uh, Mike Gebhardt. Uh, to his left is our superintendent, Ann Schloss, and to her left is our award-winning treasurer, Joy Clickinger. Okay, we're gonna start off the meeting with some very special board recognition today. Uh, Amy, would you uh, like to come up here, please? That's who that is? It's real low. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. We'll just talk loud. Mm -hmm. um, thank you, board, for the opportunity to um, host some recognitions this evening. Um, representing Prospect Elementary School tonight, we welcome Miss Heather Hale and Andrea Love. Heather is an elementary art teacher, and Andrea is an elementary physical education teacher. They're both at Prospect at their home school, but they do travel around to several other schools uh, throughout their weeks. Um, tonight, we're recognizing Heather and Andrea for their second successful first responders open house held earlier this month at Prospect. I'm gonna invite their principal, Jess Barwatz, up to introduce them and to talk about why what they've done is significant. Great. Amy, I don't think that's on. All right. It's on. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> Got me? Okay. Um, I have the pleasure tonight of talking about um, Heather and Andrea are two fantastic uh, individuals as people, as educators, and our district is definitely a better place because of these two. Um, two years ago, they came to me with a new initiative to um, host a first responders open house at Prospect. I said, okay, I'm, I'm game, let's see, let's see what happens, let's give it a shot. Um, it started, the planning of all the new safety initiatives and our first responders <laughs> open house planning started at the beginning of last year. I think they've given up basically every single lunch and planning time to spend with me. I don't know why. Um, and we've done a lot of work together. They come and they spend their lunches and planning time with me and we talk about how we can improve safety within the district with that prospect and in those conversations have lent themselves into leading us into our first responders open house where we have invited all of our first responders within Elyria uh, to come and visit our school and see what it's all about. And truly this never would have happened without Heather and Andrea. They really are rock stars and I know um, it's very rare that you could say that you are so blessed to get to work with such an amazing team, but I get to work with them all the time. So I'm very lucky. We're lucky at Prospect and within our district and I just wanted to say thank you both so much for giving everything to this district that you do and <coughs> for hosting our second successful First Responders Open House. Thank you guys. prestigious award, <laughs> the Illyria <laughs> School's apple. Golden Apple, Ooh. Apple of Our Eye Award. Um, this one is for Andrea. Andrea Love. 
otherwise known as N-E-O-I-A-A-A. -A -A. Uh, that organization is recognizing Heather at an awards banquet in April and um, for holding high standards of sportsmanship and professionalism and for her commitment to students and community. Um, Heather is also receiving the Golden Apple Awards. <laughs> Congrats, Heather. Heather? Congratulations. Great job, Heather. Always easy. Heather, would you like to speak further? All right. And last. But not least. But certainly not least. Is our two time award winning treasurer and her finance team. As I say your name, please stand, of Ann Holton, All right. Assistant Treasurer, Pete Bailey, Executive Specialist, MJ LaFleur, Administrative Assistant, and Jen Kelleher, Administrative Assistant. <laughs> this is the second straight year that the O'Leary Schools Treasurer's Office has earned the highest honor in financial reporting. Uh, the Auditor of State Award with Distinction. Joy and her team received a very nice plaque from the Ohio Auditor of State, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, but even better is tonight's Golden Apple Award. Oh, yeah. yeah. the, the Golden Apple. Thank you. Nice. Wow. So let's see. Joy, you actually have to get up and walk around this time. Yeah, oh, oh. I do. <laughs> they each get their own Golden they Apple? Each get yeah. Their own yeah. Golden oh, apple nice. Three times. Is that out of the treasurer's budget? Yes, it is. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Yes. We approved it for you. There goes next year's award. She hopes. Joy, did you want to say? I just wanted to say thank you to this fine team that I do have. Their attention to detail. Their attention to detail is amazing. Um, and they have all kinds of pride in what they do. And very seldom does anything get missed. And the reason why we can get this award is because of their work skills and their attitude for all the work that they do. do. Great. Good job. So cool. Cool. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Great job. It's good for yeah. Good job. Okay. Well, we want to tell. Good job. Good job. Team Joy. Nice shot. Good job. 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 Okay, great. Thank you, Amy, for those uh, well-deserved uh, awards. And we'd like to uh, move along on the agenda um, to uh, other presentations. Uh, the Ohio Revised Code 3313.48b states, not later than 30 days prior to adopting a school calendar, the Board of Education of each city, exempt village, and local school district shall hold a public hearing on the school calendar addressing topics that include but are not limited to the total number of hours in a school year, length of school day, and beginning and end dates of instruction. The proposed draft 2019-2020 district calendar is attached and has been uh, posted. 
Um, adoption of the 2019-2020 calendar will be voted on at the April 3rd, 2019 board agenda. And I believe the only thing that I saw looking at it quickly that was a little bit different is just a couple days before um, Labor Day for construction. Any other comments or? Uh, this enables us to work with the construction team for the next year um, in, in a need then it'll end a little earlier the following uh, June in order to allow them to do some of the work that needs to be done over the summer so we can open on time. Okay, so. great. So that will be voted on April 3rd, 2019. Moving along on the agenda, uh, visitor comments. Nobody signed up a week in advance for the 15 minutes, but we did have somebody sign up today uh, for a five minute uh, talk to the board, and that is Carol Von Drusla. Did I say that right? Von Drusla. Von Drusla, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, welcome, Carol. Thank you. And thank you for the opportunity. Uh, 11 months ago, I was part of the group who invaded this board meeting to plead for the Hamilton School. And yay raw, we get to see the unveiling tonight. Um, I taught at Hamilton, I taught at Franklin, I live in the area, I'm a block away from the Hamilton site, and my kids, both of my sons, went all the way through Franklin and Elyria High. And I went back, I was a part of the Hamilton staff in 1979 when we closed Hamilton, the historic okay. building of Hamilton. And I have all of Connie Davis's articles no. that she wrote at that point, and Anne, I already <laughs> emailed you, and I believe I emailed Mr. Ellick as well. And uh, she mentions that there was a 1900 block on the facade of the historic building. And I saw in the Chronicle on January 24th where echoes of the current buildings are going to be carried over to the new buildings. And I'm wondering what's going to be done to echo Hamilton and Franklin in the new building because both buildings are historic. The original Franklin, if I believe, was on the same plot of ground as the Washington building at the high school area. And when the high school needed more space, the one was built over on 12th Street, or 11th Street, sorry. And, uh, and the historic, I watched the historic Hamilton building come down the spring of 1983. And I'm wondering what's going to be done because my guess is that the 1900 block is, uh, got ground up with everything else I saw come down. And so there is a long history for both buildings and they both deserve to be recognized and incorporated into the new building. So okay. there, there is my plea. Okay, well we will actually share this with the uh, design team um, and we will see if there's actually anything in the uh, design coming up here, so. I, I, I plan to be watching construction and I plan to keep bugging you, believe me. Great. <laughs> sure. Thank Great. you. Thank you very much, Carol. Okay. All right, moving along on the agenda, board member <coughs> discussion items. Are there any uh, items board members today that uh, we'd like to discuss, bring up? Yeah. Uh, just a couple of things. I uh, uh, wanted to uh, give a shout out to the uh, middle school robotics team 42111N that got recognized in the paper. That was a fantastic performance. Um, and certainly to Mike West and the rest of, uh, and the rest of that, that coaching team because they have really done a great job with that program. That is fantastic. Nice. And uh, as well as uh, a wrestling team. What do I see here? It finished, uh, placed fourth in Division One state state duels or state tournament. That's, uh, that's very good. But that team is ranked, just for, the, just for the note, that this team is currently ranked, this wrestling team is ranked 25th in the nation. So that is pretty significant for that group, and there are certainly there are certainly wrestlers within that group that are ranked higher than that, and so that's that's really good. Um, who else did we see here? Angela Cagle um, is working on. Uh, wanted to uh, give her a shout out for her performance, uh, her diving performance. Uh, she's now, uh, as well as the. Uh, Freestyle, the freestyle relay teams, the boys and the and the and the girls uh, relay team. So that uh, 
I haven't had heard much, you know, we don't hear much about the swimming program, but, you know, it's nice that it's alive and well and, and performing. That's great. But, uh, but that was it. Just okay. See. Now at the, uh, the next board meeting, I, I think we're probably due for another update for, on all the construction. Mr. Bax being our liaison, will you be able to uh, give us an update kind on yes, where I we are with so. the different uh, construction? So yes. we'll plan on that at the next meeting. Very good. Um, wonderful. Any other items from the board? With none, uh, we'll move along to the minutes. <laughs> The minutes from the uh, January 29th, 2019 and the February 6th, 2019 minutes have been posted. I need a motion to approve. So moved. A motion by Board Member Karstoffen. Do you have a second? Second. Second by Board Member Brubaker. Any discussion, questions, comments? With none, Madam Treasurer, would you please call the roll? Ms. Karstoffen? Aye. Mr. Brubaker? Aye. Mr. Bax? Yes. Mr. Gebhardt? Aye. And Mr. Ellick? Aye. Motion carries. Treasurer action items, Madam Treasurer. Thank you, Mr. President. My first item is to accept the financial report for the month of January 2019, which includes all bank reconciliations, the investment report, the cash balance report, and the appropriation and expense reports as detailed in enclosure G1. Number two is to acknowledge, express appreciation, and accept the gifts and donations as listed in your agenda. Number three is to approve the list of purchase orders in order to comply with the district's purchasing procedures as detailed in G3. And those are my items this evening. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve the treasurer action items? So moved. Motion by Board Member Gebhardt. Do I have a second? I'll second. Six. Second by Board Member Bax. Questions, comments? With none, Madam Treasurer, would you please call the roll? Mr. Gebhardt? Aye. Mr. Bax? Yes. Mr. Brubaker? Aye. Ms. Karstarfin? Aye. And Mr. Ellick? Aye. Motion carries. Any other Treasurer reports today, Madam Treasurer? Uh, no, but uh, if we can continue on to the OFCC. Okay. Number two is to approve the program of requirements, the schematic design, the design development and the construction document submissions, and AVG to continue in the construction phase for the Hamilton building as recommended by the treasurer. Number three is to approve the program of requirements and the schematic design submissions, and AVG to continue in the next design phase for Eastern Heights as recommended by the treasurer. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve all four phases for Hamilton? And do I have a similar motion to approve the first two phases with the OFCC for Eastern Heights? So moved. Motion by Board Member Bubaker. Do I have a second? Second. And a second by Board Member Karstoffen. Questions, comments? With nine, Madam Treasurer, would you please call the roll? Mr. Brubaker? Aye. Ms. Karstarfin? Aye. Mr. Bax? Yes. Mr. Gebhardt? Aye. And Mr. Ellick? Aye. Motion carries. Well, let's uh, let's see it here. Okay. So we're going to do this a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, man. What we get to see tonight is the architect. Drum roll. And Keep in mind that this is an architectural rendering. This is a hard work. Okay. So there's there's a variety there's a variety of features. Um, it is a 58,000 square foot building. Uh, this is this lower view is the view from 13th Street. This upper view would be the view from Middle Avenue. So the upper is Middle Avenue. The upper, okay. the upper is Middle Avenue. And this is 13th Street. Okay. Okay. And in addition to that, there's an aerial. There's an aerial view that gives you an idea of how it, of how it, that will sit on that property. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's always it's always kind of nice to get to get a at least a like I say a drawing and a rendering out here because it gives you an opportunity to start to 
put some meat on those bones in terms of all the things we've been hearing, what we're talking about. And so this is this is a, this is a lot of the first step when you first concept this conceptualize the structure and there's still obviously a lot of approval stages and a variety of things to do but uh, we'll be seeing this in the eastern heights as well as uh, the western campus but with this and i'm going to turn, turn over it over you, if you want to detail a little bit about I, I just want to say one thing. What, what I really like about this is the architectural aesthetics mirror the first two schools in the high school really nicely, yet there's that one area that stands by itself, uh, the gray-yellow kind of accent. And as I was talking with uh, Mr. Brubaker here, um, you know, back in the day, for some people that remember, Jefferson used to wear yellow uniforms. Now, I don't know if that's tied in there at all, but I do like how there's a little bit different that kind of ties to the history of that area, just like the Ely facade and the Northwood Red, how the architects kind of honored a little bit, um, and maybe uh, they can actually do something more here, too, um, with... Uh, I'm sorry. Hamilton's color was red. Hamilton's color was red. Franklin, I thought. No, I'm talking about the Jefferson uniforms. Or Hamilton. Jefferson. So, but anyways, that was just my thought. Sure. Um, I'm going to stay here so that everyone can hear, especially uh, the the video. But just wanted to give you a little preview, and and I apologize for my my voice. Uh, the, the kiddos have finally given me their cold for the year. Um, wonderful inside, the wonderful things inside the building that are, that are going to be. I mean, what a lovely picture of the outside, but more importantly, what's going to happen on the inside as far as the uniqueness of 21st century learning. And wanted to bring about the idea of studios. I think in the past, some of you have heard us call them pods but now we're calling them studios and or suites. Uh, we're trying to keep up with the terminology change over the years, but uh, what it allows us to do, in my opinion, is meet the needs of students on um, a much better scale. For instance, I'm gonna give you a scenario. A first grade studio or suite will be all encompassing with the gifted teachers, the, the special education teachers, the para pros, and everyone will be in one suite as well as the most importantly at the first grade, the restrooms, in order to be able to keep those kiddos in one area um, for their learning and be able to meet their needs where they can move about into what we call an ELA, an extended learning area, where if a teacher is reteaching a lesson and the students have already mastered that concept, they can move into the middle and maybe go into the maker space or something of that nature within the ELA. So the beauty of, of the way we're designing these buildings with AVG is that we're, we're going to be able to better meet the needs of students without having them travel all over the building to go into a pullout situation. Also, which what we have promised from the get-go of, of, um, of passing this bond issue is that these are community centers also. And the way they're designed, they have what's called a spine. When we're down the middle, you will see more of the, what we call art, music, PE areas, the health center, the cafeteria, the community rooms. The office will be centrally located. In this building, obviously, there'll just be one office because it's just um, up through fourth grade. But uh, that is where the um, public can come in, whether they're parents or community members. And we are able to um, close the doors of the suites and keep the little ones you know, away from meetings or, or something that we might have um, out in a, a general area. So the uniqueness, and we're going to come later on and, and talk a little bit about safety and security and the upgraded technology. But the, uh, uh, the way these are designed are going to afford us um, to better meet the needs of, of, of all students. And um, I think teachers are gonna enjoy the collaborative nature of being able to co-serve in, in a very unique way. Um, but excitement, I mean, it's just really a neat way to bring them out and, and see these buildings. I do love the way they match 
the, the beautiful high school and the consistency, yet each one has their unique element. So that's Great. a little bit about the inside. Great. There you go. Other board members? Mr. President, through yes. you to Ms. Schloss, just for verification purposes, this building is scheduled to open mm -hmm. at the same time that the Northwood and the Ely campus is in Fall of 20. 2020. Mm -hmm. okay. Fall of 20. Yes. Fall of 20. What a beautiful design. I think the uh, core team did a wonderful job. I appreciate everybody here that's on the core team that has helped with this. Other comments, uh, board members? D just one more through you to Jake. Do we have a time frame on where we're going to see some dirt moving over there? Or some fencing or March. I yeah, I think as the weather breaks, mm -hmm. okay. we're getting ready to go out to bid soon. Right. Um, so once we get those contractors in line, uh, we should be out to bid here anytime soon. But basically it comes down to when the weather breaks and they yeah. can get out there and we'll start to see dirt moving. Okay. Thank you. Great. Super. Very Other exciting. questions, comments? Mm -hmm. It's just exciting. Great. Very exciting time. Very exciting mm -hmm. time. Okay, moving along on the agenda. Superintendent, uh, Madam Superintendent, uh, action items. Thank you, President Alec. I have the following superintendent action items for your approval. First of all, as we have done in the past, uh, provided transportation for these students to other, um, in this case, academies. Also to approve the purchase of uh, network hardware from CDWG at the cost not to exceed the um, specified amount. This I would like to mention is part of the E-rate program which we get back 80% from uh, the government. So uh, Mr. Kokai does a great job of making sure we're on top of this. Um, also to approve the internet access uh, uh, service agreement. This is our new three-year contract with Meta to provide the um, technology needed. To approve the purchase order for CDWG to uh, replace cyber acoustic headphones. Uh, with a lot of the new programs we have, we need these <laughs> headphones for students to be able to work on the programs and it's replacing some of them that have worn out. And this concludes my items under superintendent's actions. Thank you, Madam Superintendent. Do I have a motion to approve the action items for the superintendent? I'll make the motion. I have a motion by Board Member Gephardt to have a second. Second. Second by Board Member Karstoffen. Any questions, comments? <coughs> With none, Madam Treasurer, would you please call the roll? Mr. Gebhardt? Aye. Ms. Karstoffen? Aye. Mr. Bax? Yes. Mr. Brubaker? Aye. And Mr. Ellick? Aye. Motion carries. Uh, Madam Superintendent, any other items today? Superintendent, other items? No, no superintendent other, but I do have some personnel action items for your approval. Okay. First, to approve the unpaid leave of absence for the following certified staff. Also to approve the appointment of the following certified staff as detailed below. We are now up to 81 substitute teachers. Oh, okay. So moving along, we had some December grads. Um, also to approve the payment for up to five days for the following employee at the daily rate. Uh, Jackie Plantner runs our early childhood center and she comes in in the summer and does tours for prospective parents and, and answers questions and does paperwork for licensing. So, mm -hmm. um, Also to approve the athletic supplemental contracts for the following certified staff. Um, we have some uh, game workers that need to be approved for athletic services and unpaid leave of absence for classified staff as well as the appointment of new classified staff uh, who has dual role that's why you see there isn't a name missing this person is going to sub in both areas okay we also have to approve the one-year limited contract for the following classified staff as listed below and to approve the classified limited contracts uh, as listed below, as, as you know, there's been some changes with um, contracts that we've had to uh, make sure we note them differently in the agenda. So, And that is all I have for, oh, I'm sorry, one more. To approve the appointment of the following security officers. These are the five new police officers that were sworn in a couple weeks ago okay. for the Hilaria Police Great. Department. And that concludes my okay. recommendations. Great. Could I have a motion to approve the superintendent uh, personnel action items? So moved. Motion by Board Member Brubaker. Uh, do I have a second? Second. And a second by Board Member Karstoffen. Any questions, comments? We do have one person in attendance. Okay. 
Um, Madam uh, Treasurer, would you please call the roll? Mr. Brubaker? Aye. Ms. Karstarfin? Aye. Mr. Bax? Yes. Mr. Gebhardt? Aye. And Mr. Alec? Aye. Motion carries. And Jamie, are you going to uh, announce our uh, new addition? Yeah. Good evening. Um, we have Andrea Bowman, who is the Assistant Director of Operations. She is going to be a lunch monitor at Ely. So welcome to our Pioneer family. Welcome. Okay, uh, Madam Superintendent, a superintendent report today. Just a, a few things, I, I'm not going to list them all, but please uh, look at our website or call the high school. We have a lot of tournament action coming up, whether it be basketball, swimming, diving, bowling, wrestling, uh, you name it, we could probably have it for you. Also, I uh, do want to give a shout out to Amy Higgins, the new calendar, what a wonderful display of what I would consider best team around um, of principals and, and uh, what they do for students. So beautiful job on that, Amy. Um, and uh, those should be in the mail or already received. All right. Um, and then uh, also uh, announcement Dynacal, which is a new scheduling software where the public is going to be able to see availability of some of our areas within the district and sign up for building permits is going to go live on March 1st. We've been testing it out through the uh, the facilitation of, of Jake Carmony and it, it's going to be really ni a nice feature for all of us to use and streamline some old archaic ways of paper <laughs> okay. it works. So. And that's all I have. Okay, great. Thanks, Thank Madam you. Superintendent. Uh, Board of Education, um, we have 12 new uh, sections posted um, for the uh, first reading. Um, I need a motion to approve the first reading of the uh, 12 sections um, posted of the board policies. Move to approve. A motion second. by Board Member Back, second by Board Member Gabhart. Any questions? Yes. Uh, or I was, as I was reviewing these, uh, the qualifications and duties of the treasurer. I see um, in the section labeled additional working conditions. There's a there's a notation in that that mentions occasional interaction among unruly children. And in your particular situation, I said, is that is if that is that in reference to the board? <laughs> <laughs> if so, I if so, I object. <laughs> But yeah, I, I couldn't. I couldn't quite understand. Have you ever had yeah. that that type of interaction? Yeah, well, we can arrange it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Madam Treasurer, would you please call the roll? Mr. Bax. Yes. Mr. Gebhardt. Aye. Mr. Brubaker. Aye. Ms. Karstarfin. Aye. And Mr. Alec. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, we do not have an executive session planned for today, so I would like a motion to adjourn our meeting. So moved. Second. Madam Treasurer, would you please call the roll? Mr. Brubaker? Aye. Ms. Karstarfin? Aye. Mr. Bax? Yes. Mr. Gebhardt? Aye. And Mr. Ellick? Aye. Motion carries. Meeting adjourned.